Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Here, I uh, really want to talk about Mark Andrews. And I think right now he's the number two tight end. And I'm going to take that back. I think he's the number three tight end in the league. But statistically, he's the number two guy. And you could put him at 1-1-8, one, one, you know, based statistics. But just being realistic, I think he's the third best tight end in the league right now. Uh, in a dog fight for that number two spot with, with Kittle. You know, Kittle, both of them had great performances Sunday. But I want to take four or five plays from Sunday and let's try to highlight Mark Andrews and the thing he does well, the things he does well for us. Roll the intro. Let's take a look at this first play. Uh, it's two by two set. And a lot of times when you see two by two with the Ravens, you're getting fade out. You're getting a, a, a fade by this dude and an out by that guy. That's normally what you're getting. Uh, same thing at the bottom, you get a fade or an out, or you get hitch, seam. Hitch, no, I'm sorry. Hitch, seam. Those are the two main concepts you get out of two by two by us. But uh, let's see what we get on this one. You got all hitches, which is another one. But the thing is, pay attention to Mark's route. I'm gonna slow it down. Mark's gonna come off the ball. He's gonna get right, he's gonna get right here, kind of foot fire, get his man a head and shoulder fake that way, and then step inside and ready for the ball. And watch what the defender does when he gives him that head and shoulder. Foot five my feet real good, like I'm running out, because we run a lot of fade out. He trying to jump it. He just settled right there. Wide open. Catch the ball, get a first down. Using our own tendencies against, you know, to help him with his route. Because they know he run a lot of fade out. He going to the fade right. He going to the out right now. And he nestles right up under it. First down. Right, you know, and gets another four yards after the catch. New Orleans route running by a tight end right there. Take a look at this next foot. This is one. This is a big, big uh, play for Mark. And what you're going to see is you're going to get him to, if I can get the work, get him to come out here and run like a, over slash dig and I guess he, his crossing patterns, pattern is going to depend on these two guys um, I think this is Hollywood no this is Duvernay maybe Hollywood's going to come up run a little out route dude's going to kind of come around and run a corner if I'm not mistaken if I drew it wrong pre-snap charge it to my head not my heart and Sammy is going to take off he's going to just have a little take off route and they're really just trying to clear out this area for Mark all this area over here, they're trying to clear that out. So if we roll through it, and, and Duvernay running between Hollywood and Mark right now, Mark does a good little push off to get some separation. And by this guy stepping up to check on the back, that's going to open up a little alley for Mark right here. And uh, Huntley just has to fit it over this guy, over this guy to circle right here. But he has no problem doing that. Mark catches it. Uh, so it's a good route by Mark. The little push off at the top of the route gave him the separation he needed. And not really a push off. Just lean into him and, and break out. Lean to the way you're not going and then just break out of it. Use his leverage against him. And then you know, leaking this guy actually helped the coverage because this guy stepped up to, to get it. So now the ball is on Mark now at about the, well, it's the first down. So he's under 38. What he does at, from here on is what you know puts him in the least status. Still form this dude. I'm gonna still form you while this other cat hanging on to my shoestring. Now the third stooge get in here and act like he don't want a part of it, and I'm gonna carry you, keep carrying you. That uh, and now you trying to come in and punch, and you know I'm gonna just take that lick too. And the way I'm kind of narrating this, I think I sound like Coach Thirty, but it, this would be one of those Coach Thirty plays. That's a grown man right there, Mark Andrews. That's a grown man. And I'm going to just let it ride from right here. If you don't notice Mark, right there. Use that leverage to get that little push off. Now he open. Again, JOK stepped up to guard um, R28, which is, uh, uh, who's our big back? Murray. Easy throw for Honey. Easy throw. Easy throw. Now, still on. Second guy, you can go for the ride too. Third stooge, don't really want none. 
Fourth guy gonna come in here like Mike Tyson punch out. He ate that. Big first down. Big first down. Now with this next play, you know, you can see from the beginning right here, they're kind of like bunched up in here. In here. So they kind of I wanna say not ready, but kind of getting into it late and it's and it's cover three. And what's gonna happen is the guy that works his way over Mark is going to kind of, you know, jam him out a little bit. And Mark's going to kind of float into this open area. But instead of, you know, trying to get back in here close to the safety, he kind of lags right in this area, right here in this dead space. And, and it's technically wide open. Uh, this is not necessarily anything physically that he does that better than anybody else. This is just understanding, you know, uh, concepts. Understanding, you know, man and soft spots and stuff like that. And another thing that helps is this guy's, because it is man, I'm sorry, because it is cover three and they're trying to make it look like man, He's not splitting the, the the two verticals. He's really just kind of dropping and with his eyes on um, um, Hollywood. Now, what I will say is, and, I, and I'll notice this once I start it, these guys is all bunched up and com discombobulated, could be running cover three, and he could be a man down here. And that's why he kind of stays so close to Hollywood instead of splitting them. That could be a problem. We'll see when we get it going. I just realized that as I was talking. Cause he got his body turned to me in this this signal zone the, the the posture where he can kind of see that guy and see the quarterback to me that signal zone so i'm gonna stick with my original thing this is cover three because he's dropping he's getting to the middle i'm assuming he got that flat he probably playing mark the flash through mark so he's gonna try to get hands on mark mark's gonna give him a little something right here and get right here and instead of you know high tailing in there he gonna kind of float in this area right here and honey gonna stick it on him because once he passed this guy, and you know where the safety at, you can drill it. Especially if he's not splitting, trying to half man the, the, the verticals. And he not he he stopped right here on Hollywood, so that that opened it up even more. So now you just got to fit it in here before he can get here. But you got to get it over this cat because nobody's in the flats threatening him. So he should honestly he still should be sinking with it because there's nobody here to threaten him. He shouldn't have let Mark just get this free ride, but we'll take it. Mark just settles in the open spot. Make sure he settles away. So notice how he kept settling this way, away from this guy. And like I said, this this play is nothing physical that he did, you know, to, you know, he's stronger, he's faster, he just brute bullying people. This is just football like you and knowing football. And that part that's that is a part of being a, a good to great player. And I'm going to throw a bonus play in here, uh, totally irrelevant from the topic of the, the um, video, but relevant because I want to talk about it. This is the two-point play conversion that we didn't get that I felt like we shouldn't have even tried for. What's going to happen is, I'm going to try to sell a screen route, which is what everybody in the NFL is doing. Mark's going to come in and try to rub this guy right here and post him up. And Bateman is to, to come right off in front of Mark. Bateman needs to come so tight that this guy has no room to, to squeeze in between Mark. So that's the first error right there, that Bateman isn't tight enough and this guy is able to get between him and Mark and kind of still cover it. The second part of this is even when this happens, Mark is instantly open it like on the roll from a pick and roll. But I don't think Snoop sees it. The other thing is Mark probably would have had more room to work if Hollywood gets here somewhere in this area back here. I think Hollywood end up running his route right up in here, which allows the guy to kind of play between him and Mark. But let's watch it. Mark coming in. That's the screen right there. He posting up. Bateman got to come so tight. So tight that he this guy don't have an option to, to step up and fit through there. He got to be so tight to Mark and be looking for that ball. He got to be super tight. He's not tight enough. Which see now you see that guy's allowed to come off, but in the process of doing it, this guy thinking too, so he's gonna kind of banjo it and he's going with him. So both these guys really going Bateman, and Mark has the option to slide right in there and and be safe. But Hollywood's right there. So Hollywood's right there. I personally think Hollywood should be back here, you know, running this back line to open it up and not necessarily open it up for for Mark, which it would have done unintentionally, gives him a chance to, gives a uh, quarterback a chance to see if this develops, and if it don't, then I got my late breaking fast guy coming across the back of the end zone, maybe I can hit him 
over here in this corner back here. But now, because of spacing, which spacing has plagued us all year long, you got this guy that can guard both of these guys. Snoop has nowhere to throw the ball. Nowhere. Nowhere whatsoever. I mean, he tries to fit it in the mark now. Or, uh, I'm not sure if he's trying to throw it to Mark or Snoop. I mean, that's Mark or Hollywood. But again, I don't remember the interception with, with Bateman and, and Mark uh, versus Cleveland the first time. Two guys in linear space. You don't even know who the ball's going to. Mark's here. Hollywood's here. This is the bonus play. If you see this, you get this far, put hashtag bonus in the uh, chat box. All right, you're getting, a, you're getting another bonus play. And my mic probably messed up the whole time. You get another bonus play. Um, why we don't know how to block screens? That blows me. Why we don't know how to block screens? Watch this. Both of these guys want to block the same dude. Why? Why? Why we can't block screens? We don't never know who to block on the screen. And I'm going to end the video on the touchdown. And again, I just realized my mic was behind me. So I'm going to check and see how the quality of the sound on the mic. I mean, on the uh, sound, if you can really hear me. I may have to repeat this whole video. But we're going to see. We're going to try to make it work. Uh, again, mm, nothing that, you know, he does as spectacular on this one. He shoots up through there and the, the play is really made by this guy back here he fits it between three guys and I'll go ahead and get to that point because we all know he scored right here this guy's going I think this guy going to try to kind of wall him out again and he's just going to fit it in there see that same guy trying to wall him out and so he's going to fit it between these triangular guys so he, know where, he know where he wants to go right now Snoop know where he's going with this ball right now. And everybody in America does too. That follow the Ravens. And actually, you know, looking at it now, these two cats played it worse than anybody. They played it worse than anybody. Everybody that, if you scout the Ravens at all, you know this ball is probably going to Mark Andrews. And they playing down, you know, looking at the quarterback. And he just kind of seeks right in behind them. They played that horrible. But good job he caught it. And we'll take it. But again, based off his numbers, based off his numbers, I think he's the number two tight end statistically. Hold on a second. Yeah, based off his numbers, I think he's the number two tight end statistically. But uh, and if we want to keep it a hundred, I think he's the number three tight end in the league. And I think he's I think he's putting himself in that elite group with Kittle, Kelsey, Waller, Andrews. I think you can mention those four guys, you know, together now instead of Mark being a tier below them. And uh, if you agree, if you agree or disagree, um, put your reasoning in the comment section. Uh, we can talk about it, and we can go back and forth. And you know, you throw your numbers out there, I throw mine. But if you agree with me, do the same thing. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you have not subscribed, or uh, share, and uh, you know, retweet and do all that stuff or help the channel grow. I appreciate everybody that supports the Patreon. I appreciate everybody that supports the PayPal and the Cash App. Uh, if you need those links, they're in the description. And um, this is our video for Wednesday, December 15th. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.